Before I begin, who here has heard of energy before by a raise of hands? Now, how about climate change? Amazing. We have some foundation for today's discussion. So currently, the world produces around billions and billions of CO2 from energy production. The United States specifically last year produced 1.5 billion metric tons of CO2 alone. Now, what if there was an energy source out there that was just as clean as solar power, 3.5 million times more efficient than coal, and just, amount, just the right amount in the earth today? Well, we don't have to look very far, but we need to look to element number 90 on the periodic table. Thorium. Thorium is a nuclear element that is found on virtually every single continent in the world. Thorium will need nuclear energy to make energy. This nuclear energy is the form of nuclear fission. Now, most people stop listening immediately after nuclear energy is mentioned. That's what I'm here to talk about today. Nuclear energy has a bad rep ever since Chernobyl melted down in 1987. Fukushima and Three Mile Island are just two more examples of nuclear accidents causing the detrimental effect on nuclear energy. But there's one thing in common between all three of these accidents, and that's uranium. Uranium is a very unstable element that does not need anything to react. This causes massive amounts of reaction, which ultimately leads to meltdown. Thorium is a fertile material, which means it requires a second element to react. And the second that that second element is taken away, the reaction stops. Now, today, I'll talk about the misconceptions about nuclear energy, how thorium is the most efficient energy source available, and the sustainability of thorium. First, let's get into the misconceptions about nuclear energy. The three most common misconceptions about nuclear energy is first, that nuclear energy is unsafe. Now, there are inherent risks with nuclear energy, but we shouldn't just not use it because of them. Second, the fear of nuclear weapons being proliferated is, the second answer is nuclear weapons being proliferated. And third argument, is what if we run out? So starting from the top, nuclear, nuclear energy is dangerous. Well, uranium nuclear energy is risky, not thorium. As I've previously mentioned, uranium nuclear energy is a, fish, is a fissile form of reaction, meaning that the second the reaction stops, there is nothing to stop it. This is, ex this is what happened in Chernobyl in 1987. The reactor started overreacting, causing the water, the water in the reactor core to boil, which caused reactor number four to explode. This is simply impossible with thorium-based reactions, as thorium would require plutonium-239 to even start the reaction. And thorium does not use any form of water as a coolant or as a way to produce steam in the reactor core itself, thus effectively taking away the risk of explosion in reactor cores. So where's the risk with thorium? The risk with thorium falls under the nuclear waste that is produced. Now, nuclear waste is a bad thing, but the amounts that are produced by thorium are fractional to compared to uranium. It takes around 66,000 tons of your uranium to produce around 1.2 trillion kilowatts per hour of energy, which makes up about 10% of the United States energy needs. Now, it would take only around 1,500 tons of thorium to produce the same amount of energy needed, meaning that around 2% of thorium would be used compared to uranium. Now, the second misconception about, th about nuclear energy 
is that nuclear weapons will be proliferated by using it. This is simply false with thorium itself. Because thorium is a fertile material, it cannot undergo nuclear reaction by itself, thus making it unable to be used for nuclear weapons because it lacks the ability for the atoms to collide so rapidly to cause an explosion. So the use of thorium as nuclear weapons will never be achievable, thus not a threat. And the final misconception about nuclear, nuclear energy is what if we run out? Thorium is the 39th most abundant element found in Earth's crust. It's higher than tin, it's higher than gold, and it's higher than silver. The argument of saying we shouldn't use it just because it's rare is flawed. Because currently we use fossil fuels as the main source of energy. Fossil fuels are non-renewable as well. They will also run out, but we still use them. So why not use the most efficient and most sustainable form of energy available? This push us, pushes us into the efficiency levels of nu thorium-based nuclear energy. Thorium-based nuclear energy is the most efficient form of energy available right now. Currently, it would take about a quarter of a gram to power a house in Tulsa for one year. Tulsa uses the average cost or the average use of energy in Tulsa today is around 18 and a half thousand kilowatts per hour per year. And it would take a quarter of a gram for that one house. Worldwide, or across the United States, it's at a much larger level. It would take around 1,500 tons of thorium to power the United States for one year. 1,500 tons sounds like a lot, but since thorium is such a dense and heavy metal, it would take about the size of a large living room. About 22 feet wide and about nine feet tall is how much space it would take for 1,500 pounds of thorium. Doesn't sound like a lot, because it isn't. Right now, thorium produces at 100% at the amount of energy produced by thorium is 100%. All thorium used can produce energy. Uranium cannot. For uranium, about 1% of mined uranium is able to react with nuclear. So for every one ton of thorium, it takes about 35 tons of uranium to produce the same amount of energy. Now, when you move to fossil fuels, the number's a lot larger. It takes about 3.5 million tons of coal to produce the same amount of energy as one ton of thorium. Wow, that's a lot. Thorium is the most efficient form of energy, and it will continue to be for a long time. Right now, China is currently developing thorium reactors. These reactors are about the size of a small van, about eight feet long and 10 feet tall. This reactor would be able to power Tulsa by itself. It could fit in your backyard. No more these massive power plants that sit on the side of the river causing huge clouds of smoke, but rather a, a reactor about this big. Now, moving into the sustainability of thorium. Thorium is one of the most sustainable elements found in the, United, in the world. As I previously mentioned, it is the 39th most abundant element found in Earth's crust. Higher than tin, silver, and gold. Now, we don't not make gold watches silver necklaces or tin cans just because they're gonna run out someday. So why should we not use the most efficient form of energy just because it might run out someday? Current estimates, current estimates suggest that there are over 440,000 tons of thorium found in the United States alone. This means that we could power the world 
for thousands of years, just off of the United States amount of thorium. Now, what differs thorium from uranium reactions is it doesn't require water to react, meaning thorium, can be ba thorium reactors can be based anywhere. No longer is water going to be the limiting factor to where it's going to be located. There can be thorium reactors in the Sahara Desert, getting large amounts of it, energy to the nations that need the energy the most. Thorium reactors will forever be the most sustainable form of energy. And this is because the nuclear waste that is produced by uranium eventually decays into thorium. So not only are there natural amounts of thorium found in the world, but also the thousands of pounds of uranium that's just sitting underneath New Mexico and uh, Nevada will one day turn into thorium. We will one day have all the energy needs. We will one day have all the energy that we will ever need forever. So today, I've talked about the misconceptions of thorium. There's a lot. Nuclear energy isn't really liked because it's so good. But if you believe that thorium has the potential to be the most efficient and sustainable form of energy, then I did what I came here to do. I came here to tell you and to show you that nuclear energy isn't all bad. Thank you.